was flashing <coughs> before you started the monologue about how um, my uh, desires and there was more, I don't even know what it is right now, but how, and my thoughts, how <coughs> it has nothing to do with the moment. Yes, that's right. Desires and thoughts have nothing to do with the moment. In fact, they are the distraction from the moment. It shook me. It's kind of like the air went out of it all. <laughs> yes, the desire to be in the moment is the distraction from being in the moment. Mm -hmm. The desire for happiness is the creation of suffering. When one is experiencing what the mind calls suffering, but there is no desire to be anywhere but where you are, then there is no suffering. The character is a desire-fearing machine. All behaviors that are familiar, that are felt like I am doing it, is the hardwiring of separation. And no matter what the particulars are, separation is suffering. Who you are is pure joy already. The courage is in releasing the habit of latching on to desires and the habit of running away from fears. Because it is only these two conditioned elements that perpetuate the separation or the experience of separation, the illusion of separation, and keep the suffering alive. And then what is discovered is what is, is my heart. It already is. It already is me. What is it that distracts from being with myself? The identification with the character. How does that identification happen? Falling into conditioned fears and desires. It is just to be still, to be where you are, to fall into what is eternal, and that is yourself. So there is taste now and that is grace, because that feeds the hunger. The more the hunger is fed, the more everything that once was believed to be important is recognized to be nothing but distraction. And what is truly important begins to become alive inside of you. The love affair begins to become alive, not based on a circumstance, but inside you, as you. And then the particulars eventually are recognized to be so meaningless, they don't even require your attention. And 
that's a real hunger for that. Yes, I... Not, not to be able to let go. Yes. Just, I have a sense of that, and it's just like, you know, the whole being just... In the tapping into the hunger, what begins to be discovered is it's not really my hunger. It's the habit of the separate one is beginning to soften and the hunger is beginning to be felt. you fall into the source of the hunger, what you discover is the self. The hunger is the creation of the love affair that is wildly hungry for itself. what it's about. Yes, it is what it's about. And when there is really, really deep level of maturity, there is a recognition that everything, the appearance of everything, recognized to be the habit of distraction, it is all worth giving up. When that readiness is really true, what is discovered is what Abraham discovered in the biblical story when he was asked to sacrifice his only son. There is only the need for the willingness. Nothing is ever lost, only the suffering. To the senses, it looks like someone is listening and someone is speaking. But in the feeling of your heart, they are just characters arising, appearing, infused with you, arising out of you. One is the world of perception, and the other is the recognition of what is real now. I think he's going to explode. <laughs> <Is> that <laughs> That's how I felt. <laughs> that was... Yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> that was tuning into what you were saying. I know. Yeah. The heart. Is there is just only us. one thing. This appearance speaks from that one thing. It's an appearance. The one thing is you.
<laughs> Something else is here to say too, which is um, the tears came yesterday. Um, I don't remember exactly what you said or how you said it, but something about how <coughs> the oneness is, you know, is always there to reach and give us what we need. Yes. And that just... Uh, Every single thing that appears as a thing is being tailor-created for your freedom. Everything. There is only one thing. It is the self. Everything that appears is appearing within it. Getting really drawn in. Yes. And the eye that is getting drawn in, it is all happening by itself. <coughs> there is no one doing that. <laughs> Your little bombs. <laughs> you know, something gets so big, and then there is a sense of something containing something that is so big. But what is so big is eternal. It is not contained by the body. The body is a superimposition. Everything that is perceived is what is not it. I know it can feel like a challenge because all of this stimulation is all just breaking apart and it's all electrified. But that is phenomena that is reflective of a recognition. But the recognition is not perception. It is the feeling of the heart. It has never changed. It is equally everywhere. It is complete and total peace. And what appears inside of it is electrified as a reflection, but it's only a reflection. I didn't get that. Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> the self is unchanging. This body is a reflection of where you are in this journey, where the small self is. When the small self is turned towards the true self, the body becomes ignited, alive. But your heart, your simple existence remains the same. Yeah. 
letting everything that changes change how it does and feeling what is infinite 